Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to determine the Lewis structure for SO32- ion. It is also known as sulfide ion and the two the minus two charge you see over here is because it is accepting two additional electrons and hence the ion acquires a negative charge. So to determine its Lewis structure we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons. Here we have one sulfur atom and three oxygen atoms plus we have these two additional electrons. So oxygen has a uh, six valence electrons in its outer shell which means there are total of 18 from oxygen plus two over here and sulfur has six so in total we have 26 valence electrons for this molecule now moving forward we are going to place sulfur atom in the center and all the oxygen atoms will be placed around it like this to show a bond we are going to place a pair of electrons between oxygen and sulfur atom like this and doing that we will be using up six out of 26 valence electrons now rest of the electrons will be placed around oxygen atoms and as each oxygen atom already has two over here we are going to place six uh, electrons around each oxygen atom which means we will be using up 18 out of 20 valence electrons. The rest two electrons that we have will be placed on the sulfur atom and it complete the octets of all atoms over here. You might wonder that this is the lowest structure for sulfide ion. You might think that as all the atoms have complete octets over here, this might be the Lewis structure for sulfide ion. But let's move forward and check the formal charges on sulfur and oxygen atom because sulfur can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So let's just go uh, and check the formal charges. When you look at the formal charges of sulfur and oxygen using this formula, you can see that sulfur has a charge of plus 1 over here because it has six valence electrons out of which two are non-bonding and six are bonding and oxygen has a charge of minus one because it has six valence electrons out of which six are non-bonding and two are bonding so there is a plus one charge on sulfur and minus one charge on all oxygen atoms now calculating the charges it does give us a minus two charge which is fine because we already have a minus two charge over here but it is better to offer a structure in which atoms have zero formal charges to be more stable so what we are going to try is we are going to make a double bond we are going to shift a pair of electrons from this oxygen atom in between sulfur and oxygen to check if we can have a formal charge of zero on sulfur atom and if we can have the structure in which atoms have zero more formal uh, more zero formal charges so doing that we will shift a pair of electrons over here and now if we calculate the formal charges of this oxygen it is going to be um, minus 1 for this oxygen it is going to be 0 for this sulfur atom it is going to be 0 so here we have two atoms that have zero formal charges and there are two atoms that have minus 1 which means the total charge on this ion is minus 2 and hence now you can place the brackets and also mention its charge because we always put the Lewis structure of ions into the brackets along with its charge so that is one rule you should follow and I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure of SO32 minus. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.